Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I just wanted to show you guys how I actually kid up. I know I've been meaning to do that and I literally just kitted up a um, uh, a painting. I just finished one and I'm like, I have to put, kit up another one. So this is what I do. I actually have this tower. This one is two separate pieces. Like I'll show you the list right up. I just put them on top of each other. I got these for maybe $15 each on Amazon. They do come with these trays down here, but I like these trays better. And what I've done is I put wax at the end here just to keep them from, from falling out, you know, um, when I'm shaking them or whatever. Um, and then this part, this one here, I don't know how much it was, but it wasn't much more, maybe $20. I'll look and see if they're still available and I'll link them below. And this one came, I think it did come with some trays as well. And what I do is I, what I did is I put, I just numbered the, um, the section here. That's the only thing is if this was thicker, I put, I would put it here, but it's fine. I know where they are. And this one goes from one, one, two, 24. And then I start down here again, cause I got them at different times. I didn't feel like taking the stuff off. And then, and then I added some more down here as well. <clears throat> and then I, this has a drawer. So I just put like extra stuff in here. You know, extra um, drill, what do you call it? The placers, you know, the tips and stuff, and the blue tack that I use. Um, and this here's a little vacuum that I got off Timu that works really well when you make when you have a spill. And what I did just now, I use this as where I, because you can store it in in here but i use this as my storage of the extra drills because this is a signature kit so it came already kitted up the only thing with the signature kit even though it comes kitted up it doesn't have the um dmc number so i just write the dmc number on let's see it's probably gonna on the bag and then i wrote soon or sun because this is a signature kit so that way when i do store them in my storage uh box which i don't have out right now I'll just throw them in there because I keep them all separate because even though it's the same DMC, their colors are a little off. Um, I just started putting them away, um, but it works out because there's been a, one one kit in particular that I actually had um, missing drills and I actually happened to have them and was perfect. It wasn't that many. So anyway, so that's my tower. Let me see. Look how f I have to come far out here. Let's see. Let's take a quick picture of that this is my light that I have that I use sometimes and and I'm going to just show you over here this is how I do my my painting okay so I take a roller and I roll the bottom part up because this is my desk so I, I sit here I take the um release papers and I put them underneath and I'm going to be doing clearly I'm going to be doing this section I'm going to just be starting here and I work my way this way and then I'll come down and I do this again here and then I'll put another layer here because as I'm sitting here, I peel this back and to, to about here so that I don't get, I can lean, I can, I don't get it dirty. I can lean my arm up against <clears throat> the, um, the plastic, like you pull the plastic back, I can lean my my arm, like I'll do it to about here. For some reason, this one's a little stuck here. Something about this glue, it's extra sticky, which is good. I'm not, I'm not complaining, but it's giving me a hard time. Hold on, I'm going to pause it for a second. Okay, so I peeled it off. So I have my light pad here, and I just, that way I can have this part on my lap. It's not going to get dirty because it's rolled up. And I can lean, I can literally lean up against this with my arm if I have to, to rest my arm. That's why I think I don't have a lot of like neck pain and stuff because I actually am very well supported when I'm doing this. <clears throat> and, and I generally have neck pain, but I don't have it when I do this. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that, that is just how I kit up, how I set up my painting. A lot of people start from the bottom up. I started doing that and it didn't work out for me because I knew as I rolled it, it, it as I was going up, I was going to get hair, dirt, 
dust, crumbs, whatever on it. This, it stays much cleaner. And then eventually what I do is when this gets longer past this part of the desk here, because you could tell I have a lot of stuff on my desk, I will put that on a roller and roll it up. And then this goes, gets a little more free to the point where this eventually the roller just, I don't have to use the roller here. Um, <clears throat> and this is the painting I'm doing. I'll show you guys real quick. It's the mermaid that I got from Sunature. And I'm like, I think I want to do that one today or start now. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. So it's my my tower over here that I use that is just so handy that that way I don't need to like constantly take out drills and put them in the the dish or not. Sometimes I will use the bigger dish here or the bigger tray and I'll shake like I'll do this. Say this one's kind of full, so I'll just shake that one into here. You know, and shake the, the yeah, it's not going to work now. <laughs> Usually it works great. And then I'll just, at, at that moment, you know, you maybe even use that tray. But it's so much simpler than um, having to, like, take, take the stuff out of the bag or take stuff out of the container and switch every time and close it. It's a pain in the ass. This is just so much simpler for me. Especially when I'm, like, this is 55 colors. If it was 20 colors, it wouldn't be an issue. But I will, I, with 20 colors, I will work out of the bags or out of a container. But with 55 colors, no way. It's just too, it's too much. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys. And here's my beautiful girl, and I can't wait to do her. And I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Uh, today is the day before Christmas Eve. And um, tomorrow and the next day, of course, I'm not going to be able to do anything because I'm going to be busy. <laughs> All right, you guys, take good care of yourselves. Blessings and thank you. Have a great day. And Merry Christmas to everyone. Take care.